Hi there, Pisces, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of August the 28th through to September the 3rd. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Pisces. First up, we have the Five of Wands in the upright, followed then by the Two of Pentacles upright. Next, we have the Two of Cups in the upright, followed then by the uh, Eight of Cups reversed. And lastly, we have the Ace of Swords in the upright position. Well, your overall energy is the Five of Wands in the upright position. This can indicate stiff competition with whatever it is you're doing this week, Pisces, or hopefully it doesn't represent the dreaded um, a drama that goes nowhere. He said, she said, sometimes this can point to a lot of infighting, could be in your neighborhood, could be in your family, could be in your friend circle, could be, um, at work, you know, you name it, um, people can sometimes get out of sorts and get all bent out of shape and then start some kind of drama. Hopefully you're not in the center of it and hopefully um, you're not um, starting it in any way. Let me know in the comment section below. Are you stirring the pot here? <laughs> Pisces is probably not you. Somebody probably just dragged you into it, but let us know either way in the comment section below. Is there some drama surrounding you this week? Right at the beginning of the week, we have the two of pentacles in the upright position. This harmony in the midst of change. Something is changing up here for you, Pisces, in the early part of the week. Uh, some of you could be going from, like, maybe you're switching jobs at the beginning of the week. That could be starting the drama. <laughs> by you shifting jobs maybe you're going from one job to the next but if that's the case it's harmony there's harmony here even if you are moving sometimes the two of pentacles can represent moving from one place to another moving offices moving homes but whatever is going on you're doing it easy it's a two it's a very balanced number others of you could be balancing your checkbook you could be from you know juggling some finances to make everything uh work out for you Others of you, you could be taking on a secondary job, maybe uh, doing some uh, a side hustle. Maybe you have a job and then you're taking on something else on the side just to help make ends meet. But whatever it is that you're doing, it's a smooth transition. It's easy enough for you to do. So it's a very nice, very balanced energy. So you know let us know in the comment section are you doing something pisces and what's if so what are you doing we want to know <laughs> next card up is another two here this time it's the two of cups in the upright position this is being totally in sync with another human where we Okay, so say for example, some of you are just meeting someone this week. It could be someone who's so like-minded. This this person feels almost like you're the same person. You're, you're just one. You know, it's two hearts that beat as one kind of thing. This can be totally in synchrony, synchronicity with your existing partner. If you have someone, this could be your, your, uh, your boyfriend, girlfriend, or your husband or wife, and maybe you guys are making plans together. Perhaps you're making plans to move houses or move somewhere, whatever it is you're doing. The, uh, you're totally in sync with it. This could be having that moment, having that conversation where you realize like, yes, this is why I love this person because they totally get me. They're on the same wavelength as me. And it's a beautiful, beautiful connection. Now, whether this is somebody new, for those of you who are just meeting someone who feels like a, a twin flame to you, a soulmate where it feels like, yes, we are so in sync, or this is someone who exists already in your life, your own partner, where you feel so on board with this person and you're making your plans. Could be small plans, could be weekend plans, could be um, holiday plans, or it could be some major plans. And they're just like so on board with you that it's a, a beautiful experience. Could even be your best friend, maybe. Sometimes best friends can feel like that soulmate where we're just in sync. Could be re meeting up with somebody you haven't seen in a long time, a really good friend or a family member, and you're just clicking and connecting with them and you're going, yes, like, this is why I love you so much. <laughs> Moving on towards the weekend, we have the 
eight of cups in the reverse position in the upright position this is a very very much a searching energy where we're searching for some kind of emotional fulfillment now in the upright position we're moving towards the nine of cups the wish fulfillment card something that's going to bring our heart great um, you know emotional happiness when the card is inverted however this can point back to the seven of cups in the upright position which is a card that represents lots of options and lots of opportunities that can make us feel really good on the emotional front now the only thing is when the seven of cups comes to us via the eight of cups in reverse this is indicating we're going back to the past to something that made us feel really good with the two of cups here it could be remembering the past in such a fond way that where you had that connection with that one person that you just want to go back to it it could be that maybe you have a great moment with your partner and this is like yes it reminds me of the past and maybe you want to just move somewhere with them or go somewhere it could be even a, a honeymoon or something like that and sort of bring back those old feelings again and maybe you could just be looking through uh, different options like maybe we can honeymoon there or maybe this hotel that hotel for others of you you could be looking to go back to a place and time where there was a lot of happiness there it could have been a hobby that you did with a group of friends it could have been a certain friend or or a close person to you that you hung out with and you could be missing that person and maybe looking to see if there's an opportunity there to you know maybe hook up with that thing or those people or that certain person that brought that great emotional joy to you the last card you have is the ace of swords in the upright position well this is all about uh, having that clarity right at the end of the week Pisces maybe you see things in a new light ace is always bringing in some kind of new beginning it could be a new beginning in new way of communicating for some of you for others of you you're you're cutting through the BS and you're just seeing things for exactly what they are sometimes Pisces have issues with clarity due to the fact that Neptune is your you know ruling planet and Neptune can cause a lot of confusion because sometimes it's it's hard to tell whether something is real or whether it isn't it is somebody being honest with me are they not like there's a lot of um, vagueness around uh, around Neptune for lack of a better word please pipe in there uh, Pisces and let me know do you sometimes feel confused by situations by people and so forth um, because I know a few Pisces that I know do uh, do tell me that so and I also know from my knowledge of astrology and the planet Neptune that there's a lot of confusion connected to that so I'm sure any Pisces would be very happy to see this card which card which is a, a card of clarity where it's finally seeing things for what they are it's crystal clear when it comes to the um, ace of swords in the upright so beautiful beautiful energy uh, some of you like I said could be a brilliant new idea that comes to you out of the anti-cosmos at the end of the week let us know which it is if it's either or none because um, it's just a general read it doesn't resonate for everybody but let us know if it does we want to hear from you so I hope you have a fantastic week, Pisces, and uh, thank you so much for joining me. Um, I really hope the reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you again next week. Take care. Much love. Namaste. Bye-bye for now.